If you guys want to dominate all your fights in Fortnite and play like your favorite pros, I'm going to be teaching you how to properly fight in Fortnite. And trust me, you're going to need a lot more than just these flashy mechanics. So the first super important thing I want to talk about for fighting is peaks and how to actually practice them effectively. Most players when they're fighting only know how to really use like two peaks and it makes it super easy to predict what they're going to do when you're fighting. If everyone's doing the exact same peaks, it's just going to feel like you're fighting the same person over and over again. And that's why it's super important to build your own unique play style. The first map that's super good for working on peaking is this one right here this place right here is the best for learning how to peek properly because you can change the size of the target and how fast that reacts every time you make a bad peek where you're not behind cover the bot will deal damage to you it's also really good to get practice on a real moving target and then learning how to reset the build when you're done i also recommend that you guys start working on different peaks and not just the top right hand corner peak now if you guys remember in the last video we talked about diagonal box fighting and basically it's just setting yourself up in this position right here where your opponent cannot see you at all. This is one of the peaks I highly recommend you guys start trying to use in your fights. Another good peak to start working on is this Martaz peak right here where you place the ramp, floor and then ramp and then you can jump up and shoot your opponent just like that. Another one that a lot of people don't use enough is this ramp one right here. Say if you're in a box with someone and you edit it like this and you jump up and shoot them, they cannot see you at all so it's a very good peak. Now, Later in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys the rules with your pickaxe and shotgun to win this fight every single time. But first, I'm quickly going to talk about phasing and pre-firing. These are the two mechanics that allow pros to drop these 30 bombs in cash cup finals. Here's the map that you guys can start playing every day to work on these things. Now when you get into the map, this is where you can infinitely work on phasing in without the ramp above you. This right here is the key to ending fights fast, and if you can't do it, then you're going to have a lot of trouble playing super aggressive. If you don't know how to do it, it's all about the timing, so you have to make sure that your pickaxe is touching the wall as soon as your body hits it. You can also do it with weapons, which is super useful if you time it right. There's also a box in this map if you want to learn how to phase in from different angles. This map also does have a pre-fire section, which is really good to work on. I do talk about pre-firing in my last video if you guys do want to go check it out. And before we hop into the next part of the video, it does help me out a lot if you guys could leave a like, comment, or subscribe. So the next thing that I want to talk about is the rules for pickaxe swinging. By understanding how these rules work, you'll be able to avoid getting pumped or pre-fired. The first rule is to never ever double swing your pickaxe. Let's say that this right here is an enemy. If I double swing my pickaxe, it's most likely that this enemy is just going to edit on me and shoot me because he knows that I'm stuck in the animation of swinging. This is something that happens all the time and can easily be avoided just by following this rule. Another thing that he can do if he knows that the wall is going to break, he's just going to pre-fire me and then I'm going to lose a ton of health. Every time that you smack on someone's wall, it's crucial to pull out your shotgun to make sure that you're ready to shoot and then reset if you need. Some players will even edit on you as soon as you drop down on their wall, so it's really important to make sure that you have your shotgun out ready to shoot at all times. Some players will be able to read as soon as you pull out your pickaxe to go swing again too so sometimes if you just pull out your pickaxe and pull back out your shotgun right away you'll bait them into an edit where you can easily shoot them using your ar is something that's really helpful because then you're not all the way on their wall where you can easily get pieced up it's also very important to be looking at your opponent through the wall no matter what you're doing. This will allow you to easily line up a headshot without having to flick when they make an edit on you. These rules may seem very complicated, but to break it down, as soon as I go to push someone, I pull up my pickaxe to bait them to edit, and then I pull up my shotgun right away. Now, if I notice that the player is not budging and they're just going to keep holding the wall, then I'll try and smack on the wall a few times. But a lot of the times, the players will just make a wide open edit as soon as I pull out my pickaxe, leaving me with a free kill almost every time. Now, whenever someone's on your wall and you own the wall and you're holding it, it's super important to actually be able to read what your opponent's doing and not just do the exact same thing every single time. If I see that my opponent's just SMGing me, then I'm going to go for a pre-fire and try and shoot him. If I notice that the player's trying to get away, then I'll open up and try and get peace control on him. And if I notice that the player's just sitting there with their shotgun out or trying to bait me with their pickaxe, then I'll edit the wall and then reset it so that when they shoot, it'll break this wall right here, leaving me with the free shot on them. Here's what that looks like at full speed. The next thing that's super important for becoming a better fighter in Fortnite is aim training. Not every player takes the time to aim train, so if you do this, you'll get a step ahead which gives you a big advantage. Aim training will help you both improve your cross replacement for editing, building, and aiming. In this Mechanics V4 map, there's a great aim section which you can practice all kinds of different scenarios. Now the last and final thing that almost every pro does in Fortnite to warm up is play these realistics. Realistics are great for learning how to make smart peaks and implementing the phasing and pickaxe rules that I taught you guys earlier in the video. Even if you just play these for like 10 minutes every time you hop on the game, it can drastically improve your skill levels. This 200 pump map right here is also very good for working on your aim and cross replacement. Not a lot of players like to take advantage of this, so if you do this, it can separate yourself from most players. So that's it for the video guys. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.